If the earth spins all the time, why isn't the door where the stairs are sometimes? The earth always keeps on rotating. Every day, you are turned upside down and back again. If you live near the equator, you too might have traveled thousands of kilometers and up to 40,000 kilometers. At the equator, the earth is rotating at about 1,675 kilometers per hour, much faster than an airplane. But if you are standing at the North Pole or the South Pole, you just have to turn at that point. It is the point around which the earth revolves. This is called the axis, like the axle of a wheel goes all the way through the earth. Earth is rotating on its axis. Earth rotates on its axis once in a day. This is why we see the sun rising in the east, because the earth turns in that direction, and so do you. Because it appears that the sun moves across the sky, you could be forgiven for thinking that the sun moves around the earth. For a long time people thought exactly this. But it is actually the earth that revolves around the sun, and the rotation of the earth on its axis changes the position of the sun in the sky. This motion of the earth also means that on a clear night you will see the stars rising in the east and setting in the west, just as the sun rises and sets during the day. But if you stand at the North Pole or the South Pole and look up, you will see that the stars are moving in a circle above you. This is because the Earth's axis points to a point in the sky around which everything appears to revolve, including the stars. In the North, it is very close to a star called Polaris or the North Star. It is in the constellation Ursa Minor or the Little Bear. It's easy to find if you first look for the Plough, or Big Dipper, which is easy to spot and is part of a constellation called Ursa Major, or the Big Bear. Polaris and the constellations of Ursa Minor and Ursa Major. Earth is like a giant rolling ball. Imagine standing on that rolling ball. You may worry that you will fall over if you don't keep pedaling your feet. But you will not fall from the Earth because of the force of gravity. It pulls us towards the center of the Earth, and keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground. This is why we call the ground below us and the sky above us. If someone was watching us from space, after half a day the Earth would turn and we would be upside down. But for us the ground is still below, and the sky is still above us. Gravity still pulls us down toward Earth, so we don't feel like we're going up the wrong way. When we look at the things around us, we don't see the Earth rotating, because they all move along with us, held tightly together by gravity. As the Earth rotates, so does the wind with us. This is why you don't feel a steady breeze, like you do when riding a fast bicycle or enjoying a ride on a roller coaster. Here on Earth, your door will be where your door is, and your stairs will be where you last found them. They follow you as the earth drops, and you don't even feel dizzy, unless you're twirl like a ballerina yourself. After all, the increase or decrease in the speed of rotation of the earth means. What is? How much reduction in the speed of rotation of the earth has been recorded by the scientists? Has there been a decrease in the speed of the earth's rotation before? If yes then when and how much? Amidst all this, an important question is that after all, what will be the effect on the life of the common people due to the fast or slow rotation of the Earth? If you are feeling that your time is flying by without realizing it, then technically you are right now. In fact, recently scientists have come to know that the speed of rotation of the Earth has increased. Some researchers are watching it very curiously, while some scientists have also released important information about it. In such a situation, the question is, what is the meaning of decreasing or increasing the speed of rotation of the Earth? How much reduction in the speed of rotation of the Earth has been recorded by the scientists? Has there been a decrease in the speed of the Earth's rotation before? If yes then when and how much? Amidst all this, an important question is that after all, what will be the effect on the life of the common people due to the fast or slow rotation of the Earth? Let us know. In the solar system, the Earth revolves around the Sun and also rotates on its axis. Rotating on its axis, one rotation of the Earth is completed in 24 hours. However, on June 29 this year, a day on Earth became less than 24 hours. That is, the speed of rotation of the Earth has suddenly increased. Due to the fast rotation speed of the Earth, a decrease of 1.59 milliseconds was recorded in the entire day on 29th of June. To say that this shortfall is negligible compared to 24 hours, but its effect in human life is very high. In fact, one complete revolution of the Earth affects the entire duration of sunrise and sunset. For a long time, these major changes can prove to affect the surrounding environment along with humans. The increase in the Earth's rotation speed is a surprising thing in itself, because in the early years of the Earth, its rotation speed was continuously decreasing. When life began on Earth 3.5 billion years ago, a day was about 12 hours long. However, when photosynthesis began in plants 2.5 billion years ago, Earth's rotation slowed further and a day was about 18 hours long. 
At the time of the discovery of eukaryotic cells 1.7 billion years ago, the Earth's rotation speed slowed further and a day became 21 hours long. In the past centuries, the rotation speed of the Earth has decreased so much that this planet has started completing one round in 24 hours. Every year a day on Earth is longer by 74 thousandth of a second. Due to this, the time of daylight and night has increased by an average of 12 to 12 hours. It has affected human life as well as animals, trees and plants and the whole nature as a whole. However, in the last few decades, major changes have been observed in the speed of rotation of the Earth and it is gradually speeding up. In 2020, scientists recorded 28 shortest days of the last 50 years. The shortest day among these was recorded on July 19, 2020. This day was 1.47 milliseconds shorter than 24 hours i.e. 86,400 seconds. At the same time, on July 26 last year too, a day was shorter by 1.5 milliseconds. The day of June 29 was a smaller record in this sense. Why is there a difference in the speed of rotation of the Earth? It is not entirely clear what has caused the recorded changes in rotation speed over Earth's history. However, some effects are believed to be responsible for this. According to experts, the strong winds that blow during El Niño move opposite to the direction of Earth's rotation and hence can slow down the planet's rotation speed. At the same time, earthquakes also affect the Earth's core and this affects the rotation speed of the Earth. However, according to the reason for the shortening of the days in the past decades, according to which the Earth is not completely round, but it has emerged at the equator and is buried at the poles. That is, due to the shape of the Earth not being completely round, there are changes in its axis as well and this is the reason why differences have also been observed in the rotation speed of the planet in the last decades. By the way, the rotation speed of the Earth being less or more will make a slight difference in the duration of the day and it will not make such a big difference in the life of common people that it can be recognized. However, if the difference in the duration of the day continues for many years, it can cause many big changes in the Earth in the long run. 1. If the Earth's speed is faster than before, then it will affect the atomic clocks on the planet which measure the correct time. These are the clocks used by satellites connected to GPS around the world, and if there is any change in the duration of the day, it will be difficult to make any changes. The effect of this will be that if the Earth rotates more rapidly, then the location of a person present at some place will be transmitted from the satellite with a delay of a few seconds. Even a change of half a millisecond can show a difference of up to 10 inches, or 26 centimeters, at the equator. If the Earth's rotation speed remains high for a long time, then gradually the GPS satellites will become useless. 2. Its second effect will be on the communication devices used by people on a daily basis. Smartphones, computers and other communication systems keep themselves synchronized through Network Time Protocol NTP, servers. The change in Earth's rotation speed and even a slight delay in the satellite's communication relay will cause time differences at different locations. If this process continues for many years, then scientists may have to change the system of time as well. Researchers say that at present, negative leap seconds can be added internationally to solve the formula of increasing the speed of the Earth and decreasing the duration of the day. That is, international time may be reduced by one second every few years to compensate for millisecond variations in the duration of the day. Such a system has existed on Earth before. Actually, a year on the Earth is considered complete when it completes one round of the Sun. This period is currently 365 days and 6 hours. But according to the English calendar, a year is considered to be of 365 days only. Now if the extra time taken by the Earth 6 hours is added 4 times then this time becomes equal to 1 day. That's why there is a leap year every 4 years in the world. This year one day is added in February and it is 29 days instead of 28 days.